Hello everyone! Welcome to Physical Education class. Welcome to Physical Education and Health 2, which is Core 18. So before we proceed to our lesson, uh, let's proceed first to getting to know your subject, teacher. So, uh, I am um, Angelica B. Agustin. I am a graduate of Bised major in MAPE at Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology year 2019 and I am also a black passer of September 2019 and from Santa Barbara San Antonio Nueva Ecija. So in my class I have my own classroom rules so first uh, I will entertain or answer questions during the working hours only, meaning from 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. only. So, pag lumagpas doon, hindi ko na uh, replyan yung mga tanong ninyo. I will post the activities in our GCR every first of the week, which means uh, magpo-post ako ng mga task nyo every Monday uh, to give you a plenty enough time to do and answer all the activities given. So, the submission uh, will be every last day of the week. So, meaning every Friday, ipapasa ninyo yung ating task or yung inyong task. Next, make sure to submit modules or activities always on time. Siyempre, para maiwasan natin yung deductions. Uh, if there are, is a valid reason, kindly send me a message so I will be informed. So, if you are going to take a photo of your modules that you will submit in our GCR, make sure that you will scan or capture it in portrait orientation. So, sometimes there are students kasi na nagpapasa ng naka-landscape. So, ang hirap mag-check. Mga ganun pa kami, di ba? Minsan nakataog pa. Next, write legibly. For me to able to understand your answer when checking. So, kapag nag-check ako minsan, uh, may mga estudyante na sa sobrang pangit ng sulat, hindi na namin maintindihan. Hindi namin alam kung ano ang ibibigay namin grade. So, make sure your writings is good. Next, make sure that all pages of your modules are present when submitted. For example, uh, I ask you to answer only activity 3 and 5. So, make sure that those pages are present when the submitted uh, when it's uh, submitted or turned in in file always read and follow the instructions packet para maiwasan natin yung tanong tanong after uh, the teacher posted the task of yours so minsan ipo-post na namin kasama na yung instructions ang gagawin niyo ma'am ano po ba to ma'am ganito po ba o ganyan para maiwasan natin yun Next, be updated in the announcement in our GCR. So, sometimes, uh, mas gusto ko nagpo-post ng announcement sa GCR. So, participate and be active. In your GCR, uh, if your GCR is missing, meaning, uh, hindi mo ginawa yung mga activity na binigay ko. Uh, I don't accept PM for submitting or passing your works. Only the works in GCR will be as uh, your work recorded. So, kung ano lang yung nasa GCR, for example, missing yun, uh, meaning, wala kang ginawa, wala kang pinasa. If you have questions, uh, feel free to message me in our FB Messenger uh, or sa group chat natin or uh, pwede i-PM nyo ako pero mag-chat kayo sa may GC natin na mama yung PM po ako. Ganyan. So, ayun, physical education and health to sana maliwanag yung uh, classroom rules natin. So, subject description, uh, dyan yung the knowledge, skills, and understanding which include uh, physical health literacy competencies, support them in assessing and synthesizing, and also the evaluating uh, information, making informed decision, enhancing and advocating their own as well as others' fitness. Health. So, para sa ating fitness and health, this course is comprised of individual, pwede siyang individual, and it will help us a dual, team sports, in competitive or recreational settings. So, 
Our objectives is to demonstrate the understanding of sports in optimizing one's health as a habit. Uh, as requisite for physical activity assessment performance and syempre sa career opportunity natin. Second is to lead sports events with proficiency and confidence resulting in independent pursuit and in influencing others positively. So, yun. Um, physical education ay may uh, reason siya at may effect siya na positive and also, syempre, pag may positive, meron tayong negative. So, we also have this uh, syllabus. So, for this semester, we will be having these topics which is badminton and volleyball. So, nakaka-excite to, lalo na kung sana face-to-face, -face, pero dahil um, nasa pandemic pa tayo. Ayun, tiis-tiis muna. So, understanding of the brief history of, syempre, badminton muna tayo, and deliberating the facilities and equipment of badminton. So, in a piece of paper, I want you to answer this two questions. So, why do people play sports and what are the positive and negative effects of sports? So, ngayon. Okay, let's proceed. So, let's proceed to the history of badminton. Isa-isahin natin siya. First, game was developed from the ancient pastime known as the battle door and shuttlecock. So, dati, uh, nung hindi pa na-invent yung badminton, uh, it was developed and known as the battle door and shuttlecock. The game was learned in India, Spuna. So, yung game na to, yung badminton, ay natutunan sa India, pero hindi siya tinawag ng badminton, but as Puna. So, noong 1870, yung British Army Officers Stations in India brought the game in England. So, yung mga Army Officers, dinala nila itong game na to sa England. So, parang nilaro nila doon, parang ganun. So, the Duke of Beaufort, introduced the game at this at his country place so badminton in Gloucestershire so ayun dinala doon at inintroduce ang game na ito so not having a name at that time wala pang pangalan nung mga time na yon so that was referred to as uh, the badminton game and ayan noong 1977 naman the world bad the world Badminton uh, Federation was founded. So, ayun, nakita na siya. It is sponsored the first uh, world championship in the uh, same year in Malmo, Sweden naman. And in 1934, uh, the International Badminton Federation, uh, the world governing body for the sporty was founded. So, ayun, unti-unti na hanggang sa lumaganap na ito. So, nung, nung 1878, founded the oldest badminton club in the world, the Badminton Club of the New York. So, hanggang sa na-discover to, hanggang inisa-isa ng bawat taon, na-develop na si, si Badminton. So, let's proceed to the facilities and equipment. So, una, syempre, net. A mesh net divides the Badminton Court into two sides. The net should be made of a dark colored mosh. So, eto siya, yung example niya. The post, or yung tinatawag nating poste, yung sa magkabilang gilid ng net, yung tinatayuan niya. So, ito ay 5 feet and 1 inch in height from the floor. Ito siya, yung gilid ng net. Yung pinaka tinatalian ng net. Shuttlecocks. Ayun, familiar naman siguro tayong lahat dito. Uh, also referred to as a shuttle or birdie is made up of Cone shape with a hard cork at its tip. So, it can be a feathers or synthetic materials lang. So, yung iba kung magamit ng feathers, pero merong nabibili na plastic lang yung pinaka, ano niya, feather. Racket. The most important tools 
a player has in the game. Siyempre, kung wala tayong racket, paano tayo makakalaro? Gagamitin ba natin yung kamay natin? Siyempre, hindi. So, ayun. Merong parts ang racket. Proceed tayo. So, una yung head. Ito yung uh, bounce the stringed area. Na, ito yung kinakabitan siya ng mga string. Yung string area is the part of the racket with which it is intended the player hits the shuttle. So, dito tumatama yung shuttlecock na ginagamit natin. Next, we have the throat. Connects the shaft to the head. Ito yung nagko-connect sa head at saka doon sa may shaft natin. Shaft, ito yung shaft natin. Connects the handle to the head. Ito yung nagko-connect-connect lang siya kasi. Uh, and then, ito yung tinatawag nating handle. It is the part of the racket intended to be gripped by the player. Ito yung hinahawakan natin. So, under of facilities and equipment pa rin tayo, which is the badminton court. So, ayan, may badminton court tayo. Ito yung tinatawag natin na single line. Kapag isa lang yung naglalaro or single, yung tinatawag. Meron kasi tayong tinatawag na play na single and double. Kapag single, ito lang yung kinoconsider nila na line. How about the double? Oh, saan, na nga, saan naman po yung double? Yung nasa labas po. Ayan. Ito yung namang net sa gitna natin. Ito yung left service court and the right service court. Then, may mga size tayo dyan. Dito ay 3.96 meter. Uh, meron tayong uh, 76 centimeter dun sa may dulo. So, ayan. Dito naman ay 46 centimeter. So, that is uh, court. So, tapos na tayo dun sa module 1. Let's proceed na din. Tuloy-tuloy na natin sa module 2 which is uh, badminton, the basic skills, and strokes. So, sa basic skills, we have here the grip. A grip is a way of holding the racket in order to hit shots during a match. So, ito yung grip. Ito yung kung paano natin hinahawakan yung uh, racket. So, meron tayong backhand grip and meron tayong forehand grip. Doon muna tayo sa backhand. So, sa backhand, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayo, yung kamay niya is nakapush doon sa may handle. Nakapush siya. Then, nakaikot lang yung pinakaharap ng kamay niya. And, um, next naman tayo is the uh, forehand grip. The forehand grip naman is nakabilog lang siya. Hindi siya nakapush. Pansin niyo dito sa angle 1. So, ayun. So, sa basic skills, under pa rin niya si serve so, or the service. It is the way the shuttle is put into place. So, magsisimula na tayo. Meron tayong two types of serve. Yung low serve at saka yung high serve. So, Familiar naman siguro tayong lahat sa serve kung paano natin i-serve yung shuttlecock using the racket, syempre. So, eto si low serve. Low serve. Okay, that is the low serve. So, next we have the high serve. Pansin niyo yung low serve ay mababa lang. Ang high serve is pataas siya, yung shuttlecock niya. Nanggagaling siya sa ilalim. So, ayun si... Uh, meron tayong dalawa, ulit na nga, low serve and the high serve. Next, under pa rin ng basic skills is the footwork. Will be a chase on the side and the sequence will be left foot into the right before the right foot is taken out sideways away from the left. So, eto siya. Meron siyang iba't ibang uri ng footwork. So, yung ready position, meron siyang ready position kung paano ba uh, ipupwesto yung paan natin. Nang hindi tayo madadapa, nang hindi tayo matatapilok and others. 
So, meron tayong side step. Ang side step ay ginagamit sa, uh, for example, nasa play ka na. O, nagpunta sa may left side C shuttlecock. So, ang gagawin mo, using your side step para makapunta ka dun sa may, uh, uh, sa may side na iyon. Ayun, magagamit natin si side step. Lunch. Scissor kick. Ah, yung scissor kick, ah, ginagamit natin ito kapag ka mag-smash tayo. Smash is the term used to spike. Ah, kung mapapansin, kung ah, hindi kasi tayo masyadong familiar doon, ano, sa may volleyball, ito, ito ay tinatawag natin na spike. Kung paano natin paluin yung bola into the opponent's court. So, dito naman, scissor kick naman yung ginagamit. Scissor kick naman, ito yung used how to smash the shuttlecock. And, we have the crossover step. So, lahat yan, uh, magagamit natin yan sa uh, playing of badminton. So, yung lunch kasi, ginagamit siya mostly kapag ka ang, ang shuttlecock ay idadrop lang ng kalaban doon sa harap ng uh, sa harap mo mismo sa malapit sa net. So, ganun lang yan sa yung lunch. Mostly doon siya ginagamit. So, under pa rin tayo ng basic skills. So, ayan, minamalat na si ma'am. Stance. Stance is the defensive position that a player uh, should perform when waiting on their opponents. Uh, to perform a proper badminton stance, the body should be turned to face the opponent's side. To the court with the non-rocket leg forward and legs Uh, at a shoulder width apart. So, meron tayong iba't ibang uri ng stance, syempre. Una yung attacking. Tatlo lang to. Attacking, yung una. Defensing, how you defense uh, your game. Sa attacking, how you are going to score. ba? Diba? And last, we have the net stance. Yun, tatlo lang siya. So, sa basic skills, Under pa rin siya ang strokes, which is yung nabanggit nga natin kanina, uh, the strokes and the basic skills of the badminton. So, strokes uh, is a movement of the player's racket with an intention to hit the shuttle. So, isa-isahin muna natin siya. Apat lang itong strokes na ito. Pero kung uh, pupunta tayo at magbabase tayo dun sa module latin, ito ay dalawa lang. Ang, uh, ang overhead and ang ay, ang forehand and ang backhand or ang overhand and underarm so ayun, una ay overhead forehand ang susunod ay overhead backhand naman siya, ibig sabihin overhead forehand, using yung forehand na, tinuro, na nakita natin kanina, sa taas siya manggagaling and ah uh, The other one is the overhead backhand, which is sa taas pa rin siya manggagaling, pero patalikod naman na siya manggagaling. Hindi siya pa forehand na ganyan. Pa ganun na siya. So next, we have here the underarm arm, forehand and the underarm backhand. So meaning, kapag underarm, sa baba siya manggagaling. So underarm, forehand, pa ganun siya. Pa ganun lang siya. So, pagka naman underarm, backhand, pag ganun siya, pero sa ilalim siya, manggagaling pataas tayo. Ito. This is the forehand overhead. Ayan. Overhead, forehand. This is an example of it. Pansin niyo Sa taas siya nang gagaling using these kinds of grip. Forehand. Simple as that. Ayan. Next, we have here the overhead backhand. So, using the backhand grip, pabak siya. Paganin siya. Next, we have here, syempre, forehand ulit. Ang gamit nating grip. Pero, underarm na siya. Unlike sa kanina, ay naka-overhead siya. So, meaning, sa ilalim, mag 
manggagaling ang ating racket. Ayan, next, we have here the underarm backhand naman. So, backhand grip ulit. But, the difference is sa ilalim siya manggagaling. Unlike kanina sa overhead backhand. So, ang overhead backhand ay sa itaas manggagaling. Pero nakapatalikod ang racket. So, yan, pag anon. So, ayun lang. The end.